In a previous video, I discussed break-even analysis. Now, break-even analysis deals with finding the quantity Q star such that you make exactly enough to cover all your expenses. That is, you break even. And in, a previous, in the previous video, I actually show you how you derive this. But here, I'm just going to give you the formula. It's the fixed cost divided by the price minus the variable cost per unit. And if you want to see how it's derived, I'll post the link to that video. But this makes perfectly good sense. If you're selling it for, um, you know, a dollar a unit and the variable cost is 50 cents per unit, then you're earning 50 cents on each unit you sell. So how many do you have to sell in order to cover the fixed cost? Now, fixed costs are costs that don't change. So I have an example here. Uh, the fixed costs are 100000 the price is $30, and the variable costs are $10. I believe this is, these are the same numbers I used in the previous example. And you'll notice here I have a bunch of different quantities. And you'll notice that the fixed costs remain the same regardless of how much you produce. And that's what fixed costs mean. That is, if you produce nothing, you pay 100000 If you produce 10000 you pay 100000 it's always the same. It's fixed. So this might be the amount that you pay to um, rent this machine okay, or, or this factory. And you have to pay it regardless of whether you use it or not. Now, variable costs are costs that, that vary or change depending on how much you produce. And those would be things like labor costs, uh, raw materials. If you're going to produce more of something, you'll need probably more labor hours in order to produce it, and you'll need raw, more raw materials. But if you don't produce anything, it doesn't cost you anything. And if you produce, you know, the more you produce, the more it's going to cost you. So you can see these numbers go up. The total operating costs are going to be fixed cost plus variable cost. So if you don't produce anything, it's 100,000. If you produce uh, 1,000 units, it's going to be 110,000 etc. How do we get variable cost? We take the variable cost per unit, $10, and multiply it by the number of units we produce. So here it would be $10 times, for example, 8,000 or 80,000. How about revenue? Revenue is going to be equal to price times the amount that you produce. So if you produce nothing, you make nothing. If you produce 10,000 units, uh, times a price of $30, then you're going to earn 300000 And what's your profit going to be? Your profit is going to be the revenue minus the total cost. So here you're going to lose 100000 You don't earn anything, and you have 100000 in fixed costs. And as we can see that you have a bunch of negative profits, and then at some point you break even. So let's see how this works. If we use the formula here, uh, fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost, let's see if we can find the break-even point. The fixed costs are 100,000 divided by 30 minus 10, which is 20. And so we get a break-even of 5,000. Now, what's nice about the BA2 plus calculator and this is really why I'm doing this video. I want to show you that there's actually a function here that does this for you. If you hit second and the six key above it is break even, you get this, um, this worksheet here. If you want to clear the worksheet, you'd hit second uh, clear worksheet. So the fixed cost, let's put in the numbers here. This is 100,000. And you have to hit enter, so you see that equal sign to make sure it registered. And you can go with the down arrow key here, my variable costs we set are 10. Again, hit enter. And the price we're charging is 30. And then you get the profit. If you just want the break even point, then you want profit to be equal to zero. So we'll just leave this at zero. And you have quantity. If we hit compute, sure enough, we get the same quantity, 5,000. What's nice about using the BA2 Plus is first you don't have to remember this formula, not that it's that complicated, but 
under the stress of an exam, you may, may not remember what the formula is, but you can also put in different profits. So let's say we want to have a profit of oh, 160,000. Let's see what the break-even quantity is now. The break-even quantity is 13,000. Let's see here. Is that correct? At a price, I'm sorry, at a profit of 160,000, we get a quantity of 13,000. So this turns out to be rather nice, uh, a nice function to use, a nice worksheet. So if you weren't aware of this worksheet, this is a rather handy way to solve these. You can keep changing these. It's nice because you can also change numbers here. We could change the price to see where the break-even point would wind up if we change the price, compute, oh, I'm sorry, uh, we can change the, let's see, oh, whoops, whoops, I put in 40, but I forgot to hit enter, so I forgot to register it. So now let's go to quantity. We'll notice that obviously if we charge a higher price, we have a lower break-even point. So. This is a, a nice function to know and something handy that's on your BA2 plus calculator.